Welcome to another Wife Life episode. Kung bago kayo sa channel ko, hello and welcome to my channel. Pero para sa inyo na matagal na nanonood ng mga videos ko, then alam nyo that I have been trying my best to really fill in the gaps of the different series on my channel. So again, today it is gonna be another Wife Life related video because I will be sharing to you guys some thoughts of both Adrian and I. Though he isn't here to relay them to you guys, I am here to relay them to you guys. Also, can I just say that these lashes really make all the difference, no? Parang minsan, kahit sobrang sobrang walang makeup just like now, I feel that I look like I kind of do have makeup because my lashes look so long. So I get these done at Ayumi. Ito yung 5D na lashes nila and I just love it so much. It definitely does not look natural. I think you know, when you get your lashes done in any lash salon, your lashes are definitely 100% not gonna look natural, but they are going to look very fab. And I would say, less gastos on makeup too. Speaking of makeup, I am gonna be doing my makeup. So while I get ready, siguro chichikahin ko talaga muna kayo guys. I have a meeting in like an hour or two. So I have to look a little bit presentable because honestly, I'm looking like I just got out of bed, which I just did a couple of hours ago. <laughs> guys, first of all, how have you been doing? This week was definitely a roller coaster for all of us today and maybe I'll get more into the life updates Siguro sa may dulo ng video na to. For now, I do kind of want to tackle what's been different, not just since we moved in here, but since the last week of our lives as a nation. I want to address na and dami kasi nagtatanong sa amin na how was the move? Kamo sa yung difference um, from the apartment to the house now. Alam nyo guys, ibang iba talaga yung feeling ng nasa bahay talaga kayo and not an apartment. I think the apartment, I, I mean, it was never really ours, you know, we were, we were renting it just like how we're renting this house right now. But the difference there kasi is kapag may mga naglalakad sa labas nung apartment nyo, rinig na rinig the footsteps, the conversations kapag may bumababa sa stairs. So it really doesn't feel like it's your house but it's more of like your own room in this big house if it makes sense. Tapos syempre pagkalabas mo, alam mo yun, ang dami mong na kakasalubong na strangers, di mo kilala. Syempre as a woman who stays alone a lot in the apartment, it did kind of scare me to make friends since most of our neighbors were older men. Anyway, now, it's just so much more peaceful. Ang sarap ng feeling. Kasi pag, when we look out the window, I see a lot of trees. Ang dami mga damo-damo. And when I look out naman the other window, mostly marang kamarinig ng mga batang dumadaan. Kasi they're just really having fun. Enjoying their youth. Nakabay. Nakascooter. Minsan naglalaro lang talaga. Nagtatakbuhan. So, again, mas peaceful talaga yung feeling. In terms of our marriage naman, ang dami na rin talagang nagbago. I would say more in a good way because 
because even the situations that may seem more hassle are also forcing us to grow. So at the end of the day, we still win even though we're going through a rough time. I'll get more into the details of what I just said later on, but so far we've been living here for I think about three months. And totoong totoo yung sinasabi nila na a clear space will give you a clear headspace. It cannot get any truer than that. I feel that I've also become much more productive. And siguro nga dahil hindi naging maganda yung experience naman living in the apartment, sobrang nalesen yung stress. This home has really felt like home to us for the past months. Ibang iba. So I guess that's something that you guys can take away if you're planning to move out from your parents' home, if you're planning to get married and then move into a new home. Really consider the place where you are going to live in, not just the house but the neighborhood in entirety, because these external factors can really affect how you work, especially if you're working from home and also how relaxed you will be inside of your own home. Do I look presentable now? I hope I do. <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys a story. I'm not sure if I'm going to go to But anyway, when I was still living in Laguna, tapos na meron kong trabaho in Makati, it's whole day hosting, whole day shooting, tapos the next day may trabaho ulit, dire dire. So, I would usually get an Airbnb. You guys probably saw that in my last video. So, there was a time that I checked in. And then the next day, I realized that I forgot to bring my deal with me. So I ran to a convenience store. I bought this random deal from actually a known brand. And it claimed to, you know, make you feel fresh and it's anti perspirant and all that. So I used it. Tapos on, parang din dire direcho ko siya for maybe like three days kahit na uwi na ako. Kasi wala lang, try lang. Sayang naman, diba? And then I noticed, oh my goodness, guys, I kid you not. My underarms started turning into like this weird grayish green color. And immediately I know that it was deodorant. I had to stop it. It was just too harsh. In fact, I just tried to give it a chance. Para lang hindi masayang yung pera ko. Pero I knew it from the very beginning na meron siyang onting sting. And that wasn't a good sign. Ever since nandun ko talaga na na realize how important it is for all of us to be cautious and wary about the deodorants that we're using. Because I would hate for anybody to experience what I did or worse. We all need products that will truly take care of our underarms. Not just remove odor or maybe even block sweat, but to really feel like your underarms are being pampered every time after you apply that deodorant. So as you guys saw, I've been using the Dove 0% Aluminum Salt Deodorant. This is in the Cucumber and Green Tea scent. And I also got into this spray-on form, but I mostly use this roll-on one. It's just really based on preference. Nothing is better than the other. I just feel that this is more convenient for me. As you guys will see throughout this day, and I think throughout the everyday life videos and wife life videos that I show you guys, my lifestyle has really changed from how it was back then when I was living with my family, with my mom, with my sister and my brother. I think at that time, alam mo yun, parang mas maliit lang talaga yung responsibilidad ko because ang daming kumikilo sa bahay. But now, I work from home and at the same time, I am a full-time housewife. So my everyday life does require a lot of movement for me. Putting my deodorant on in the morning is a must. So what really makes this product unique is that it's made out of 0% aluminum and alcohol. Now, ano bang relevance nun? Bakit ba kailangan 0% aluminum or 0% alcohol yung ginagamit natin? First of all, guys, alcohol, though it can really diminish the odor from your underarms, especially once you've started getting sweaty and all that, what it can do is dry out your armpit. And by the way, ang nipis-nipis ng skin natin sa armpit, so mabilis siyang ma-irritate. And yeah, again, there, that's the effect. Once it dries out, it will become irritated. And ang dami kong mga nakikita na after na irritate nung skin nila sa underarms, nagkakos ng mga rashes, redness, 
it turns into darkness. <laughs> so I highly, highly doubt that any of us would want that kind of side effect. And in terms of aluminum naman, now what about aluminum? Aluminum naman can cause blocking of your pores, which again can lead to various skin concerns, problems, irritations, etc. And if you look it up, it will have a detrimental long-term effect on your skin and possibly your overall health. So the reason why I really fell in love with the Dove Zero Percent deodorant is that it keeps my underarms fresh, like so fresh throughout the day. Sometimes, alam mo yung parang feeling mo sobrang dami mo nang ginagawa and pawis na pawis ka na, especially ngayong summer and kahit umuulan ulan na ang init init pa rin, you kind of catch yourself trying to smell your underarms just to check if you need to go and take a shower. Guys, ang dami nang nangyari sa buong araw ko, pero pag inaamoy ko yung underarms ko, Away na away ko pa rin yung fresh cucumber scent. And apart from that, this will keep your underarms fresh without blocking your pores, causing no irritations whatsoever. And a while ago, we were talking about how dryness can also cause a lot of skin concerns. The Dove 0% deodorant is actually infused with the Dove 1 4th moisturizing cream. So this has truly proven itself to be perfect for the kind of lifestyle that I live without any compromises. I can keep my underarms super fresh throughout the day without having to worry about clogging of pores, drying it out, or any other skin irritations. I'm gonna leave a link for the Dove Zero Percent deodorant in the description box below. Highly recommend that you guys try it out. But for those of you guys who are very sensitive to whatever kind of deodorant that you put on your underarms, make sure to consult with your dermatologist first. By the way, you guys, I finally decided that I'm going to paint my cabinet. I told you that I was gonna do that like months ago but I never had time for it. I decided that in order for me to make time for it, I have to make a video out of it. <laughs> so, idadamay na natin to para mas cohesive looking sila. We have some painting to do, we have a meeting to fulfill, a dry run, and also, what's the last thing? Oh, I have to cook. I have some cooking duties today. Huh, I wonder what we're gonna be doing. Anyway, let's get on with it. <laughs> Not gonna lie, you guys, I'm not in the painty mood. But also, I am because I have to. Get to you, on. My roller foam is so broken. <gasps> Look at that, and it's cracking everywhere. Let's hope it still works, but whatever. We have this if it doesn't work. <laughs> guys. I've been trying to open the paint bucket for like 30 minutes and let me tell you, I opened the wrong color. accomplished so far you guys I am loving this color and honestly nung una medyo natakot ako nung unang lapat pa lang kasi parang ang light nung dating nung pagka navy blue and I did not like it but now I realize that I had to wait for it to dry to actually see the true color of the chalk paint and this is the exact navy blue that I wanted. So I'm very much happy. Kailangan ko lang tanggalin yung mga handles so that I can paint in between them. There was hair on it. Adrian's home! Oh. Hey, look in the same color as the cabinet. <laughs> Come here, baby. Come here, baby. OMG, kakulay ko nga talaga, no? So, obviously, I really like this color. <laughs> Alright! Wow! Life update. It is already... 9 in the evening, dinner is done, we've already packed up and all that. Guys, can I just say, you're super fresh pa rin nung amoy nung kilikili ko. Like, 
I really have that habit. Like ever since I started using the Dove zero percent deodorant, I had that habit of like just smelling my armpit at the end of the day, just to verify, guys, yeah, what it says. Okay, I like I just want to make sure that whatever it is that I'm telling you guys is a hundred percent true, and I also want to verify the claims of the product itself and let me tell you try it out for yourself you'll know what i mean <laughs> anyway wow um life update i really don't want to make this too long but i think for most of us the past week really rattled us emotionally mentally i think even spiritually no i have tons of friends that i know that were not very politically involved and yet um, even they were gravely affected by everything that transpired from the campaign moments all the way down to elections. I think what I learned and what really changed for us massively is that if there is anyone na sobrang na apektuhan during a great economical drop or during changes in the government. Hindi naman yung mga ABC classes yung hard hit. Like let's say for example, kami middle class kami, if taxes start going up and the economy of the Philippines start going down, chances are it will hit us in a way but not so drastically that our lives would not be comfortable anymore. We would probably just have to give up our wants. And you know, um, the lifestyle, our lifestyle has inflated throughout the years. But apart from that, nothing much, right? Pero alam mo yung mga makakita ka ng mga batang nagbibeta ng mga sampagita sa streets. I think that's what really changed for us, you know? Recognizing our social responsibility, not just for the greater economical impact that our efforts as a whole can really make but it's more of looking at the poorer Filipinos, you know, the less fortunate sila kasi yung pinaka masasaktan dito eh sila kasi talaga yung pinaka tatamaan lalo na nung pandemya, di ba? sino ba yung pinaka nag-suffer? sila lahat tayo nag-suffer but I mean the fact that we have the luxury and the privilege to be able to watch vlogs in our home as we are locked down is truly something to be grateful for compared to wondering when you're gonna be allowed to get out of your door and have the capacity to feed your children to buy just a little bit of rice it, it was so very easy to be apolitical because we live the life that served us. But now I realized that it is so much different for others who are living a totally different lifestyle than you and I are. So yeah, right now I feel like I'm just really taking a break break from how the past weeks have drained me, you know, campaigning and then going through the season of elections. I'm really taking this time to connect even further and deeper with the Lord and see how He would want for me and my husband to move forth from what we have learned and what he has opened our eyes to. Totoo yung sinasabi nila, no? Na pag namulat na yung mata mo, kasalanan ng pumikit. A lot of people think na para makatulong ka, kailangan marami kang pera, but honestly, I don't think so. The best thing that you can actually give to others is your time and your effort. But more than that, the greatest thing that we can do for our kababayans and even for ourselves that requires us to shell out no money at all and that we can do anytime, anywhere, it is to seek God and pray. Let's ask how He wants us to move about with whatever it is that he has opened our eyes to. It doesn't have to be the same thing that God revealed to me and Adrian. Yours could be totally different. But yeah, I believe that whatever God calls us to do, whatever the nudging is of the Holy Spirit, it is not only going to help us, our future, our families, but definitely that is going to have an impact even to the people around us. So yeah, anyway, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Alam nyo naman ako, mahilig lang talaga ako mag-sit down, give you guys update, 
or chit chat with you, make cuento. I hope that you guys appreciate that just as much as I love being vulnerable in front of the camera for all of you guys. I would love to know what has this season taught you. I'm sure hindi lang ako yung napaka emotional roller coaster ng pinagdaanan kayo rin. So please, please share that with me. So I'm leaving you guys with love, hope, and faith. For today, you watched me, Michael Luis. I hope you enjoyed this wife life vlog. And I cannot wait to see you again for the next one. Bye everyone!